so uh kind of do want kind of want to do like an energy update and uh i feel like things have been really ramping up and uh we are going through this part of the galaxy it's part of this 25,000 year old year cycle where we move through the galaxy and we're moving right now we're moving through a part of the galaxy that's super high charged in frequency and that is all part of this ascension this great awakening on planet earth and this high frequency energy it's it's uh it's all it's highly charged in photons so photons are particles of light that make up all of creation and it's very high frequency highly charged particles and it's affecting our solar system it's affecting our sun it's affecting the earth it's affecting the electromagnetic field of the earth of all of us our bodies are um are evolving and what is happening is um this high frequency energy is bringing bringing up all the stuff that we have to deal with all of the darkness that's within us that we haven't dealt with that we've put aside is all going to come up to the surface and those of us who are doing the work those of us who are staying in center those of us who are being of service to others and not living in fear but living in love we're moving into the age of love and uh as we move into this age of love, we have to release and work through everything that doesn't resonate with where we're moving to. All of the traumas, all of the hurts of the past, all of the people that have hurt you, you have to forgive them. Forgive them and let them go. Because holding on to hatred, holding on to negativity is not going to benefit you in any way we have to transcend that we have to move into a higher vibration and those of us who are doing this work those of us who are working through our shadows those of us who are living our passion those of us who are living in the present moment and meditating and out of our mind we're gonna go through this process a lot easier than the rest of the population who are and who are still asleep and i've been noticing this at work with people that i work with uh just people in my everyday life and i've been really doing the work lately just really going within meditating a lot working on my music working doing everything that i can to just raise keep my frequency high and raise my frequency and live in a state of unconditional love and I notice as I'm doing that it's like the people that I work with it's harder for me to relate to them and I'm seeing their patterns their their different things and I'm seeing how this energy is affecting them and how they're having a hard time dealing with it And it, it really is an amazing time that we live in. And the, this past couple weeks, this week, I had a really good week. But the, the week before that was really intense. I was working. A lot of stuff came up for me. And I feel like I did really good. I worked, I worked through it. And, uh, and it's like the, every time I go through an obstacle, every time... I feel some really intense energy and that's what you have to do when whenever you're feeling whenever you're going through something whenever you're feeling really intense emotions coming up or different things feel through them tap into your heart tap into your feeling get out of your mind get into your heart we have to bring the heart and the mind into balance and that is walking the middle path. Yeshua in the uh, Gospel of Thomas, which is a book that wasn't released in the Bible, he says, the disciples asked them, when 
when will we see the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven? When, when will we see it? And, and he said, it is when you will see it when the two become one, when the mind and the heart come into balance. And then you transcend the ego. Ego is always going to be there. The ego is a part of your your body and your mind and this part of this physical reality but we can tame it we can have discipline over it we cannot let it rule us we can be the ruler of our kingdom the kingdom of god is within you the kingdom of heaven is within you and uh it's all one all the all the religions I'm not tied down to one religion. It's all one, it's all the same. Just different different prophets, different disciples speaking about the same thing in their own lens from their own lens of perception. From their language, from their uh, lens of perception. Everything is one, we're all connected. And for us to move into this age of the fourth density fourth density of consciousness is the is the density and dimension of love and understanding so we must come into that understanding of love within ourselves and everybody else and everything else this whole earth and come into a state of union seeing the perfection in everything but also having the awareness to see the illusion in this reality and as you tap into that state as you open up your third eye with meditation and different practices you will see that illusion you will have that understanding of this reality and you will have compassion for everybody even if they have done you wrong. I've had, I've had friends, best friends betray me. And I see, it was, I, my best friend betrayed me. And it was, at the time, it was something that was horrible. And it was probably the hardest thing I ever went through. And now I look back at it. And it's literally the best thing that I ever went through because I've matured so much as a human. I can really, it's really opened up my eyes and forced me to go within myself, to go within and do the spiritual work. And I am very grateful for that whole experience. And now there's no limit to what I can achieve. There's no limit to what any of you can achieve. You are your own block right here. This is your block. This is what's stopping you from living your, your best life. It's all about your perception. It's all about how you see things instead of being in a victim mentality. Look at things from a positive angle. You know, if something is happening to you, ask, why is this happening to me? Um, how can I grow from this? How can I be a better person? Ask yourself these questions. And whatever you're going through, you will overcome it. You will grow stronger from it. But it takes work. It takes discipline. It takes having discipline over your flesh. It takes having discipline over your mind and a fierce heart. To move through anything. Ah, feels so good to be out here. It's been raining a lot. And uh, I love the rain. I love the moisture. Ah, life is beautiful. And uh, the more we look at things like that, waking up and being grateful for everything that you have being grateful for your body being a, being grateful for being able to have this experience even when you're having a hard even when you're going through a hard time and that 
is how you stay in a high vibration. Having a healthy diet, listening to your body. Listening to your what, what your body is telling you. If, if, if the food is lowering your energy, don't eat it. It's as easy as that. Just listen to your body. If, something, if you eat something that makes you feel good, that's good. Keep on eating it. That's same with people. If you're around somebody that's draining your energy, cut them out of your life. You might care about that person, but it's not worth it. Some people can't go where you're going. Not everybody can go the lengths and the height of a greater reality. As we move into this fourth, fourth density, this new earth, we're, a lot of people are not going to be able to go there with us because they still have things that they need to work out in this 3D reality. And they might end up having to reincarnate on another um, third density planet like Earth. And that's okay. That's their choice. And it's not for us to judge. We live in an infinite universe. And time is an illusion. So in reality, everybody will get, get to the same path. Everybody will ascend on their own time. Some of us sooner than others. And that's okay. This is all a school. This earth is a school. Life is a school. It is for us to learn, to become more loving, to experience everything, experience the light, experience the darkness, and to ultimately to reach that state of enlightenment, to have love and compassion for all life because you understand there's only one of us. There is only one of us, and that's the creator, that's source, that's the Christ. And it's all beautiful, the light and the darkness, it all serves its purpose, it's all duality. Divine, there's masculine and feminine energy, positive and negative. Masculine being the electric energy, feminine being the magnetic. And everything in this universe is electromagnetic. The earth, our bodies, earth has a north and south pole, positive and negative, just like a magnet. And we are magnets too. And we attract and we push away. We attract those that are on, this, on a like vibration. And we push away those that aren't just like magnets. When the two positives come together, you can't bring them together. There's a force there. And it's the same with, with different people in your life. There's just some people that you're not going to vibe with. And as you, as you understand more of these things and be able to integrate them, you see there's a lot of people who understand and preach all these things, all these spiritual concepts and all this stuff, but they haven't integrated it. Integration is what's going to help you anchor that wisdom, anchor that experience into this reality and bring it and share it with others. You need to integrate that and, uh, and the universe will bring things to you, certain challenges, certain situations that will help you integrate those experiences to be able to use that wisdom, to use that knowledge to get through whatever you're going through. And then you can better understand it. You can better integrate it. You can better teach it to others. Oh, it's so nice out. I'm so happy. I am really, this week, I've just been vibing high. I'm feeling great. 
my body feels good, my mind and my spirit feel good. I'm just fucking happy. And uh, I'm just happy to come out here and share with you guys because I'm having a damn good time <laughs> riding my bike. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I'm working on finishing my song and I'm getting pretty close. I'm looking forward to sharing it and uh, my other music that I'm coming out with and um, just got my website back up. So if you want to check that out, I'm going to have that in the link below. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing my uh, quantum healing hypnosis sessions. So if you want to book one, reach out to me. And uh, I think that's it. It's been nice connecting with everybody. Peace out. Woo!